Thanks, Keeps, for sponsoring this video. What is that? That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. You know how thin it is? That's bad. You don't want that thing. From the chuck end, that's better. Oh, this is a perfect example. Look at this. The chuck end is better. So between this one and this one, even though this one is cheaper, this one will be a lot more tender than this one right here. Look at the size of this espinales. This one is looking the best. All right, we got the Walmart steak over here, and I'll tell you one thing, man. That is very difficult because they look horrible. Most of the steaks are extremely thin. You don't want to buy a thin steak. It's never going to be as good as if you buy a little bit thicker. There is no prime. I'll just let you know right away. So the best option was this choice grade here. But at the same time, this doesn't look that great. And look at the price, 28 bucks. That's not cheap, but hey, this is the Walmart steak and we got it. So they don't have time. Only the highest greatest choice. These are looking sorry. I'll tell you that right now. This is the best I have right here. I'll be honest, we're doing a rebuy because of every other store, but this one right here doesn't look that great, but it's the only option. Now, let me show you what I would get if we were not doing rebuy. Now that is a lot better option than a rebuy, I'm telling you right now. But since we're doing rebuy, this is what it is. Price is not that bad, marbling is great. Take a look at these right now. I mean, look at this. That's some sorry rebuys, I'll tell you that right now. But this will be a better option, but not all the other grocery stores have this. And we already started with rebuy, so rebuy it is. BJ's, come on, you gotta find some prime, man. The marbling is okay for a choice grade steak. And since we are going with rebuys, these are the only option. I'll tell you one thing, the overall experience is better. There's somebody on the counter answering any questions you might have, but they don't have prime as well. What's going on? No one has a prime steak. Now, even though they have a better steak, the right thickness, the right type of steak, the shape is nice, a better overall experience when you're talking to the guy, you're gonna pay for it. This is the most expensive one of them all. It's 20 bucks for one steak versus on the other place, you actually could get almost two steaks for that price. Is it better than Whole Foods so far? Yes, but you're gonna pay for it, remember that. Now that we got all of them, let's put them to the test because what's really important is how do they taste? Is there any difference? How about the texture? We're about to find out right now. And for a closer look, this is what a Walmart steak looked like. 100% money back guarantee? Seriously? How am I able to determine if this is good or not after I eat it? And he also tells you to freeze it real quick. That is not a good sign. But after taking it out of the package, this is what it looks like. As you can see, the trimming was not done very well. It also feels like the steak is falling completely apart. But maybe one of the worst things about this steak is that it's so thin. You never want to get steaks like this. Remember, at least one inch thick. There's actually a good amount of intramuscular fat. But I'll tell you one thing, holding it on my hand I can tell right away that it's not the best. So in order to be consistent with all of them I kept the seasoning really simple. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. At least to me that's the perfect seasoning. Now that we got the Walmart ready there's nothing else to do. And here's the one I got from BJ's. Notice that the price is cheaper. That is a good thing. Once it was removed from the packaging take a look. That is how you trim a steak. But you should be aware already of the thickness. That is not a good thing. The marbling for choice grade is actually good. But the important thing is always how is it going to taste. And for that, I wanted to keep the seasoning exactly the same as the previous one. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. That's it, nothing else. Now, of course, to go along with steaks, the best side dish is potatoes. But as you can see, this one is a little special. We're talking about bacon wrapped potatoes. And to make them, it's super easy. I highly recommend using gold potatoes for this. They are creamy and for this application, a lot better. My goal was to try to cut them not too thin and all the same exact size. This way, they're gonna cook evenly. Talking about that, the first thing to do was to go ahead and throw them in the boiling water. I let them boil for a total of 10 minutes. This way it's gonna cook them all the way through. Once that was done, I went ahead and got some barbecue rub. This one is called Bold and Beefy from Blue Hogs. I went ahead and seasoned all of the potatoes with it. Then got the bacon and wrapped the whole thing. Now that is how easy this was. All there was left to do is to throw them in the oven to get them cooked. For that, I kept my oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and cooked them for 50 minutes. And once the time was up, this is what I was left with. Now if that's not the perfect side dish to go along with steaks, I don't know what 
is. And you saw how easy it is to make it. Talking about that, we have one steak left. And this is the one from Whole Foods. So once I took it out of the packaging, take a look. Now that is a beautiful steak. Even though it's choice, it has a good amount of intramuscular fat. But most importantly, take a look at the thickness. This is something that you should always look for. Again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but thicker is always better. To keep things fair, I kept the seasoning exactly the same. Salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Because now the only thing left to do is to go ahead and grill them. For that, I'll be first putting a nice beautiful sear. And of course, for that, I'll be basting with some butter. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook them. So let's do it. <laughs> Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Keeps. Two out of three guys will experience hair loss by the time they are 35. So yeah, it is too late for me. But for the two of you or you at home, it's not too late. See, Keeps offers clinically proven research-backed treatments to stop hair loss and improve hair loss. With Keeps, you can get quality expert care without ever visiting a doctor's office. Treatment plans are doctor recommended and delivered straight to your door at about half the cost of a traditional pharmacy. Keeps has a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists. Once you receive your product, they have 24-7 care and support. Each treatment plan comes with a full year of unlimited messaging so you can connect with your prescribing doctor anytime. They will work with you to establish a routine that works for you. Whether you are looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of the hair you have, Keeps got you covered. In addition to clinically proven treatments, Keeps has an award-winning all-natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system. Easily subscribe to Keeps and get review reminders so you will never run low on their products. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off of your first order, go to keeps.com slash Google Foods or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Google Foods. Thank you Keeps for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful steak. What do you guys think? You guys hungry? I'm starving. Hey right man, now. I eat steak all the time. There, is there a reason you put this in front of me like this? That's right. Obviously, as you guys know, I have three steaks. It's all about your opinion. My opinion uh, is invalid because I know what it is. Experiment <laughs> going on, huh? Kind of. Kind of a little experiment. Yeah. Not bad though. You shouldn't be bad, all right? Well, okay. you shouldn't. I have no idea yet. Normally it's two steaks, but now it has three. Uh, there's a little twist here. I don't know what, nah. what to expect. Enough talking. Let's go for it. Let's go. For Grab it. it. Now, here's one thing that I must say. All steaks were cooked to 135 degrees Fahrenheit in final temperature, and they were all basted with butter. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. It's interesting. Oh. It's tough? <laughs> yeah. It's definitely not what we're used to around here. <laughs> Juicy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's good. L a little lack of flavor, but... The flavor is like old a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm getting a kind of like aftertaste here. I'm yeah, not it's sure. like an old meat taste. Kind like of an thing. old meat I'm taste. I'm not sure if I like it. Good or bad? It's, it's not bad. I feel like I need to say that, you know, when you're here on Google Foods, <laughs> you're set to a standard. And this doesn't meet that it's a standard, bit below but it's that. not a bad steak. Let me be, let me be clear. It's not a bad a steak. This is a very average steak. This is as good as I could imagine if you go to a restaurant. I, I mean, I, you know I don't go to restaurants to get steak anymore, right? <laughs> I, yeah. I'm just like, remind hey, you. Google's ruined steak uh, eating yeah, for Google everybody. Google has made sure that I, I have... can't order steak at a restaurant <laughs> ever again. So Here's what I'll say, all right? It is important to be completely transparent. And they're telling exactly how it is. They were not there filming the video with me. They have no idea. So... That's what they have to say about it, all right? Me, overall, I would be extremely picky. I'll probably <laughs> be bashing this like there's no tomorrow. But again, it's not about me, all right? <laughs> <laughs> 
It's not about me at all. All right, let's go ahead and go. No, for the next one. no, no. What do you mean, no? Yeah, no. Hey, we got it. We got to clean you that. You can't taste put out this in mouth. front of me and make me wait. Oh, I'm the sorry. potato. Good, okay, grab the potato, Leo. I, I gotta have it. Bigger potato. Can you go wrong with that? Come on. Never. Huh? I don't think so. I'm There's gonna... no way that this is going to taste bad. I can guarantee you that. I'm not even going to cut this. I want the whole thing. <laughs> <You're> the... <laughs> the whole All right, thing. enough. Little side dish. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That's good. That was so good. The consistencies are so perfect because mm -hmm. the top, the bacon is like, it's not that crunchy, crunchy bacon. It's like yeah. that soft bacon. But it's good because the potatoes are so soft, they just fall apart right in your mouth. So it's still delicious. Enough. Let's go ahead and go for the second one. I want to know your true opinion. You guys let me know. Second one. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. cheers. Oh, that is an improvement right there. I'm getting more juice, more charcoal crust. It's softer. Yeah, I so agree. This you? is a big jump. No old taste. No old mm -mm. taste. Mm -mm. Oh. But same like level. Same level, really. What if I tell you guys no. that this steak right here, the first one was more expensive than this one here? I'd call you a liar. <laughs> it's true. I'm, I'd be surprised. <laughs> I, I would actually be very surprised. Yeah. That's crazy. It is. But if you got this in a restaurant, you will say you're well, happy. I, uh, I never said that I would be happy oh, okay. <laughs> getting steak from a restaurant. Okay. I said it is restaurant level steak. Okay, very good. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not at that point yet where I get mad when steak. I still order steak at restaurants. Oh, no. happy, right? I, I, you know, I wouldn't be mad. I've, Wait six months and know what he says. I <laughs> only, Come back. I only go to restaurants if I know they have something chicken that will taste good. That tastes good. I'll be honest, I don't order any steak from any restaurant ever again. I just get a little bit disappointed and then it gets me upset that I'm actually ordering that. So I will go like, oh man, I should have ordered something else. Go ahead and tell the audience what your favorite restaurant is. <laughs> no comment. Ah, you guys don't need to know that. And is it you, Chick-fil-A? And if you think whatever the restaurant is, put it in the comments down below. If you get it right, if you get it right, I'll make sure that I'll pin your comment. I promise you, I will send you money if you get it right, because I guarantee no one out there is going to be able to guess it. No way. I promise you. <laughs> Very good. Let's go for the last one. Ready? So advice yeah. to these two right here. Cut your steak thicker, everybody. Everything thicker is better. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? Very last one. Cheers. 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 Wow. Oh my God. That is a lot better than the rest. A lot better than Way the rest. Way different. A huge mm. jump. You cut it even thicker, but it's actually more tender. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. This, this is by far, like, if you ask me, yep. that's the best one. That's the champ. I have no doubt, no question about it. From the first one to the second one, it was, yeah. a, in my opinion, a pretty big jump. And from this one to this, an even greater jump. Still, gotta say, not a Google steak, <laughs> but it's pretty damn close to it. So that is this is as close to a Google steak as, as anything else on this. I agree a hundred percent. This right here is the most expensive, obviously. That's why. Okay. Thank so, God. So here's the deal. All of these steaks are choice grade. They're all the same quality. Okay. Wow. But this one was from Walmart. This one was for BJ's. And then this one was from Whole Foods. Hey, now, that makes Whole Foods, sense. Whole Foods it out of the park. Whole Foods is the most expensive, as you guys know, but it is a better steak overall. Okay. There's yeah. a lot. A lot that goes in the different varieties. Maybe this one here was cut perfectly. Maybe this cow was a little bit better and the cow from Walmart was really bad. There, <laughs> you can say a lot of different things, but I'll tell you one thing. Because you're not gonna eat a steak every day, I recommend you buying the best one you can possibly buy at the source that you can buy it from. Now, I order my steaks from Grand Western Steaks. You guys know, and the reason I do that is because it it's never let me best. down. If you ask me which one come the closest to that one, I would say would be this one here. If you're gonna cook a steak for somebody that does not appreciate medium rare, it does not matter where you buy it from, buy it from the cheaper source and they will be fine. But if you're buying a steak for yourself and you really wanna taste the meat, quality of the meat, medium rare, then you gotta go for the best because you're not gonna be having it every single day. Whenever I get it from Emilio, he always knows exactly the way I want it. There's no questions asked because if he sent me a thin steak like this, I... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't buy thin steaks, yeah. all right? Emilio gotta watch out. Yeah, you better watch out, Emilio. Damn. <laughs> anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something new. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.